So I know in my last worship service, I didn't include a children's message, but I'd like to include one for um, today. So this is something that I was going to do today um, in our worship service in Scottsdale. And so I bought a bunch of these little wedding bubbles. I don't know if you can see that. And uh, I was going to gather the children. And even if there wasn't children, I at least knew I would have my children there. And uh, this is something I really like to do with children. So anyways, uh, if there's children in your midst, I invite them to uh, just join with me in this little message, and even if there isn't, this is a good message for adults too. So right now, our lives are a lot different than what we're used to. Uh, you guys might not be doing your regular routine, going to school, going to sports, um, spending time with friends, going to church, and um, maybe you're really happy about that. Maybe you really like being at home and you're really enjoying the time with your family and there's nothing wrong with that. That's a really good thing. But if at any time you're afraid and you really feel like you need someone to talk to and you've talked to your parents, you should always talk to your parents, um, also know that you can talk to God and you can do so by praying. And praying doesn't have to be fancy. You don't have to um, say something like, Dear God, and, you know, have all these big words to say, and um, even have any words to say, really. Um, one thing that I like to do with my kids, or even just myself, because I enjoy bubbles, is to send my prayers out to God in little bubbles. And... Um, so you just take your bubbles. Oop, that one didn't work. So you take your little bubbles. I don't know if they're showing up on the screen. There we go. And you blow them upward. And just imagine that each bubble that is floating in the air contains a little message from you to God. <laughs> And that's how prayer works. It, it goes out there from your breath out into the world and God grabs it and the bubble pops. And now God has it and God's listening. So uh, get some bubbles today and practice praying with your bubbles. You can say actual prayers. You can pray for actual people. Um, one good way that I like to do that is um, I'll say, Lord, I would like to send my love and my prayers up to you for my grandma. She's in a nursing home or she's sick or I miss her. Lord, I send up my heart and my prayers to you that you hear them. Um, you can even blow bubbles to just be at play with God. You know, you don't have to go to God and talk to God just when you're sad or upset. You can just blow bubbles with God and just tell God how your day is going. Um, and just know that God is always with you and that God loves you. And you're always welcome to talk to God, play with God, and... Um, just know that you are deeply loved by God. So let us pray. Gracious and loving God, thank you so much for the children and the young, youth and the young people in our lives. Lord, thank you for the way that they teach us how to, to play and to live a little lighter and to have faith, innocent and strong faith in you. Lord, as our children are apart from 
their friends and from their education and from their sports and their activities and their extended family members. We ask that you find ways to keep them connected to their community and to their family. Lord, we ask that you keep them safe and healthy and happy. And Lord, we ask that they always know that you are their friend. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.